What's up everybody, Ricky Gruth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about verbal offers, okay? So if an agent calls you and tells you what their client wants to offer on your listing and asks you what you think about it, okay? It's not even your property, you're just the real estate agent. They're asking you what you think about the offer, right? Like you really know what your seller's gonna do or how they're gonna respond. Okay, there's no way you know how the seller is going to respond to any offer at any moment. And, and even if they tell you, hey, we're firm at this price, that doesn't mean that when you call them the next day, they haven't changed their mind. It happens all the time. The seller doesn't even know what he'll do. In the situation that they have an offer on the table, they're looking at money, right, and they know they really want to sell it, a lot of times they're gonna come off lower than what they said they were gonna be really firm on. Sometimes they do stay firm. Not saying they don't, I'm just saying that you don't know and there's no way that you can predict what your client's gonna do at any moment. You could get off the phone with them and they say they're gonna do one thing and then they call you back one minute later and say, you know what, we're gonna do this other thing. Happens all the time. So when an agent calls me on one of my listings. This happened just the other day. I have a listing. We're asking $409,000. Um, it was shown. The agent called me and said, hey, my client wants to offer three ninety dollars on this property. What do you think? And my response is, "Is what do you mean, what do I think? I don't know. You know, write it up. Have your client sign it. Send it to me so I can present it to my seller. You know, how am I supposed to know what my seller is going to do with that? Okay. Maybe he hinted that he would do something, you know, at some point, you know, in the past. He said he might do this if he got an offer, but hey, that was a long time ago. Now we're here, right? And another thing, you never want to give away your client's position, right? You never want to tell anyone what your client might do. Never do that, okay? Because you're giving up your client's vulnerability. Okay, you're making them vulnerable in the situation where you're not really looking out for their best interest if you're if you're telling someone what they might do, what they might be willing to do. Heck, you could be wrong about what you think they'll do because you think so strongly that they'll do it, but you could be completely wrong because they change their mind so constantly. And then that screwed the deal up, right? Let's get the offer on writing, on paper. Okay, let's get it on paper, let's put it in writing and then let's present it to my client and then we'll find out really what he wants to do. Also, there's more to an offer than just a price. There's terms, is it cash, is it financing, is there inspection, when's it gonna close, what's the earnest money? There's so many things to a contract except for just the price. Okay, so there's just so much to it. We need to see the complete offer before we can really respond. Something else that I've found is that if you verbally give someone an offer, say a seller, and they say, okay, well, I'll do this, okay, in response to that, but then you give them the same offer in writing, they have a completely different response, okay? So, you know, until it's real, when there's an offer and a contract someone has signed in place, then it's real. And when it's real, now it's getting real. Now they're making real decisions. They're like, man, people, somebody really does want to buy my property. So don't judge a book by its cover. Don't assume that your seller's going to do something. Don't give up your seller's position on at any moment. Okay, negotiate hard for them. Work hard to get the best price possible and do your best for their best interest. So anyway, I just I got that call the other day and periodically I have agents that call me with verbal offers, so I figured I'd do this video just to share my thoughts on it. I hope it helps you serve your clients better. And if you have any questions about it, just shoot a comment below. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I'll talk to you soon.